Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here today with the Rude Tech Ain't Afraid Cancer Fighting Fuzz. It is a one knob fuzz, and if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, if you subscribe to this channel that you're watching this on, hint, hint, uh, you probably saw that I did a few live videos, live soldering videos, uh, where I put this thing together. And I'm going to be honest, I messed it up real good the first time. Uh, <laughs> basically, I uh, inverted uh, the input jack uh, connections, so it didn't work. And if you watched the live video, and then you might have seen the short where I got it to work, and now I'm doing a demo. This is by Rude Tech. I bought this kit uh, through their website, rudetech.com. I highly recommend picking it up if you're uh, curious about building your own pedals. It's a one knob fuzz. Jesse has, uh, the builder's name is Jesse. He has a video uh, assembling it. So it's actually pretty easy. It's a really good video. He teaches at, uh, he teaches a soldering and pedal assembly class every year, every summer, probably a couple times at the Yeah Rock Camp in Middle Tennessee, which is a great organization. Uh, but if when you buy one of these from him there, he can afford to donate another one to Yeah Rock Camp to teach the children how to solder and assemble their own pedals. It's really, really cool. Um, this is in reference to the um, late Jessie Zazu, and uh, she was part of a band called Those Darlins. Uh, when I was in Nashville, they were really popular and huge, and she uh, had cancer and um, passed away uh, several years ago. But 10% uh, of the revenue from these pedals goes to uh, Jesse Jesse's um, 503C charity uh, that does work with the youth and music, and of course, when you buy the kit, Jesse gets to donate. Um, so, shoot, yeah, that's enough talking about that. I will be too sad if I continue to talk about that. Uh, let's talk about the fuzz. It's a one knob fuzz based on the 2N3904 transistor. Sure, that sounds like a thing. Modern clipping diode to add grit and versatility. Designed to break up on pick attack on single coil pickups goes crazy on humbuckers. I'm only going to play it through uh, single coils today. This is my Hers Signature Stratocaster going through my Strymon Iridium Round B strap by Rocket Straps. And uh, that was my clean tone. Let's get started. That's a lot of some volume on tap. That was obviously all on the neck pickup. Uh, let's switch to this pickup. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so I can personally hear it better. Love it when you just miss, you just miss the note. Middle position.
right? That's a, this is a two position. <laughs> than that. So you improvise. That's what I You know what? Actually, I will play this with humbuckers. I am magically going to transform into a guitar with a humbucker. Oh, hope that worked. It probably didn't. All right, this is my uh, Ventera series road worn telecaster. All right. say that does go crazy on humbuckers middle position Confidence. Just hit the wrong notes with confidence. The confidence. I'm not gonna. Confidence of Jesse. That's, that's the confidence that I strive to have in my life. Uh, da, da, da. now bridge. the volume and uh, let that really kind of sound like an overdrive.
Yes, it does scream on humbuckers. Uh, I'm gonna snap my fingers again and turn to a bass. Again, I hope that worked. It'll be very funny if it didn't. All right, now we have my bass. It's uh, the Player Series Mustang Bass by Fender. on guitar but you can play it on bass apparently uh i would imagine it sounds better on bass if you're a better bassist so keep that in mind um but again rude tech fuzz uh great cause uh it only took me it took me two hours to put it together that included uh my time going back desoldering and resoldering uh the input jack so um I mean, I'm okay at soldering it. So I bet you could put it together in an hour if you're faster. If you're, if you can actually read your little transistors a little bit better. And uh, I had to go through the, the video with Jesse to understand how to do a couple of things. Um, but I think it sounds really great. I'm really proud of myself for putting it together. It's the first time I've put together a pedal in a long time. And it's the first time in a long time I've like soldered something like electronics. Uh, and it didn't work the first time, so it was a very humbling, truly humbling experience to plug that in uh, during a live stream. And if you've ever thought that, like, you want to feel really, really more stressed out about soldering uh, than you already felt, I highly suggest soldering during a live stream where people are watching and talking at you. So, yes, uh, Rude Tech Effects Ain't Afraid Fuzz, 130 bucks assembled, like 75-ish for the kit. Um, and that, that about works out. I think the kit's a great deal and goes to a great cause. So please, please, please uh, check this out on the Rude Tech website. If you'd like to buy anything else you've seen in this video or just in general on Reverb or Sweetwater, please use our affiliate links in the, the video description. It helps us out tremendously. Um, like, comment, subscribe below. 
all that jazz. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.